Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of PyTest, I am going to practically demonstrate different assertions in PyTest. So let's get started. Assertions in PyTest will decide whether the test is passed or failed. If the assertion passes, the test will pass. If the assertion fails, the PyTest will fail the test. So let me give you some examples. Here are a few examples of the assertions. We have to use assertions by writing this keyword known as assert keyword inside the test methods. Okay. So after the assert keyword, we have some expression which either results in true or false. If it results in true, the assert statement will pass the test. If it if this expression results in false, the assert statement will fail the test. Let me practically demonstrate all these examples, assert examples for you. Okay. So I'll switch to this PyCharm ID where we have some sample tests which can be run with the help of PyTest that I covered in the previous session already. In the previous session, I showed you how to run this test with the help of uh, PyTest. Now, I'll remove these sample print statements from these individual test methods, which can be run with the help of PyTest. And uh, instead, I'll write some code. A is equal to 5, B is equal to 10. And here, I'll write assert A equal to B, OK? So here a is 5, b is 10. So a is not equal to b, it will return in false. And assert statement will fail the test because of this expression resulting in false. Now let's go with another example. Here assert a greater than b. Okay. So I'll write the similar kind of thing. a is equal to 7, b is equal to some 14. Uh, or I'll give a b is equal to 3 otherwise. And here I'll write down assert a greater than b. Here a is 7, which is greater than b, that is 3. 7 is greater than 3. So it will pass the test because this expression is resulting in true. Assert true will pass the test. Now, the next one. Next one is, let's go with another example, a dot equal to b. I'll say a is equal to, let's say, Arun. B is equal to, I'll give another name that is Motori, my last name. And here I'll write down assert A dot equals B. Okay. So A is not equal to B, it will return in false and uh, the test will fail. Assert because of the assertion fail, the test will fail. So now run the test. Let's go to terminal. Clear the previous output. Now write pi test hyphen R A. Press enter. You see? Out of three tests, two tests got failed because of assertions. You can see the assertion errors here, right? Test sample one, pi equal to 10 is false. So assertion error came here. Then uh, here, this one, okay? Pi equal to 10 is false. And uh, then three is also failing because of this assertion error where Arun is not equal to Motori. So it failed. And uh, third one is passage. Test sample two is passing. Okay, only this test got passed. Remaining all tests got failed. So two out of three tests got failed, and one out of three tests got passed. Okay, this is what is the thing. Now, if a particular assertion fails, if you want to display a message, let's say here, you can provide double quotes and say a is not equal to b. Now run the test. Now run the pi test hyphen r a like this. This time, this message also get printed in the output. Okay. The reason for the failure will be printed in the output console. You see to again to failed out of three tests. That is a uh, here. You see this particular test got failed a sample one assertion error. Why? What is the reason? A is not equal to B here. Assert false is coming, but here the reason is coming. A is not equal to B is coming here. Also, I want to give some message. Arun is not equal to Motori. Hence it is failing, right? Now again run it. Again clear it and say pi test hyphen r pi test hyphen r a press enter. You see again this message is coming. Whatever the message I'm giving after the expression, right? Assert expression, right? That message is coming if this particular assertion fails. If it passes, no message will come. This message won't be displayed, won't be printed. Okay. Why? Because the test is passing. The assertion is passing means this message will not be printed. Only when it fails, this message will be printed in the output. See here, again, I'll let me run. 
in case of pass the message will not come you see the test sample 2 got passed no message is coming only when the assertion fails this message is whatever you are providing in rebel codes after the assertion expression right they will be printed in the output console so this is uh, what are the examples few examples of the assertions and how to use assertions in i test okay so with the help of these assertions we can either pass the test or fail the test okay so that's all for this session see you in the next session thank you bye bye